Well, hi everyone. Uh, this is a quick demonstration of DNA capabilities of the CDS1 built into Core EXP25 uh, to demonstrate uh, DMA. Uh, we are going to show you a program that shows um, a basic transfer, block transfer, uh, both using uh, the LDIR instruction versus using DMA. The program, this is it, uses either this block of instructions to to make a to make a transfer from from the ROM to the screen uh, you see here we are going to transfer uh, a complete screen uh, excluding attributes uh, the, the the block is surrounded by instructions to put the border uh, in red and in white so we can easily uh, measure how much time the transfer has has uh, has last for DMA, the, the the amount of code we want to measure comes from here to here. In that, in it we define the destination address for the DMA transfer, the length, the the block length the number of bytes we want to we want to transfer the source address and finally we use the the dma control register to command a memory to memory transfer uh, a burst transfer so it is as uh, is this is performed as fast as, as fast as possible uh, to make a better comparison uh, I have added uh, some keys to control the program, uh, keys 1, 2, 3 and 4, so we can uh, change the speed at LDIR instruction if execute. So if I choose 1, LDIR will be executed at 7 megahertz if I choose 2 it will execute at 14 megahertz if I press 3 it will be executed at 28 megahertz uh, this is the, 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 the current maximum frequency the ZX1 uh, can achieve and if I press 4 we will revert to 3.5 megahertz for the uh, for the CPU speed, and the transfer will be will be performed using DMA. Well, uh, the program begins uh, by default using DMA. So you're watching. Uh, a continuous transfer of uh, memory transfer from ROM to to memory. You can see uh, that the 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 width of the of the red bar barely uh, crosses more or less uh, 13 or 14 scan lines. Uh, this is about. 878 microseconds for the com for the complete transfer of uh, of one screen from run to from run to 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 the video memory if i press one i am now using uh, software block transfer uh, but at seven megahertz you can see that the that there is barely a uh, time to to do one transfer in in one interrupt time you only have this amount of time to to do other tasks uh, the majority of time is 
consumed by uh, is wasted by the uh, by the transfer instruction if I change to uh, 14 megahertz well the, the amount of time is roughly the, the half if I change to 28 megahertz is uh, is less than, <laughs> than the previous one uh, 28 megahertz is now a, a good option to to perform uh, memory transfers because you have this great amount of time to do other tasks and this one for for doing the actual the actual transfer but using dma you can narrow this time down to this one so uh, this is much everything i can tell you about the uh, memory dma transfer on the cds uno hope you hope you like it